Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how the oceans affected carbon dioxide levels. Right, you should remember from earlier videos that the early atmosphere was formed by volcanoes, the main gases produced by those volcanoes was water vapour, H2O, and carbon dioxide, CO2, and that it was when the earth cooled that the water vapour condensed and formed our oceans. What we need to look at now is what happened to those CO2 levels. Now nice and simply, the carbon dioxide levels have decreased and the reason for that is because the CO2 has dissolved into the oceans. It's gone from an area of high concentration in the atmosphere to an area of low concentration in the sea. Now what this has meant is the amount of carbon dioxide has gone down from around 90% when the Earth first formed to around 0.038%, although it's not actually just dissolving in the oceans that has done that. There are two other things, one of which is to do with sea life. Sea creatures themselves, when they first formed, when they first existed, they took in that carbon dioxide and they used the carbon dioxide to produce their shells in the form of calcium carbonate. Plants also took in carbon dioxide, but we'll get into that in another video. So in summary, carbon dioxide was dissolved into the oceans. That's one way that it decreased. And the second way is that sea creatures took in the carbon dioxide, absorbed it, and they used it to create their shells in the form of calcium carbonate. Right, let's see what the examiner can ask you. So there's one question here, which is describe how the earth cooling affected the levels of H2O and CO2. You should be able to pick up everything from what we just talked about in this video. It's worth four marks, so you need to say four specific points. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So describe how the earth cooling affected the levels of H2O and CO2. So the first thing is your H2O, your water vapour, condensed to form the oceans. So you get one more mark for saying it condensed to form the oceans. Sometimes you might get two for that. I'm only giving you one today. The next thing is what happens to the carbon dioxide next. And that's the focus of this video. So the carbon dioxide dissolved into the oceans. Now it's really important to say what effect did that have on the amount of carbon dioxide. So saying it dissolved into the oceans, it meant carbon dioxide levels went down, decreased. And then finally, once it's dissolved into the oceans, what else happened? You've got your sea creatures. They absorbed it, and that carbon dioxide formed their shells. So you needed each of those four things to get your four marks here. And that is everything that you need to know. There is a review question, which is explain why we have less carbon dioxide in today's atmosphere and how it is linked to the formation of our oceans. As you can hopefully see, it's exactly the same question. So oceans formed because the water condensed into water, formed our oceans, and then how did the carbon dioxide change? It went down, why? What we've just been talking about. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.